Perdua is no longer a new name in the market, but many years ago there was one video resurfaced on the internet. What I don't like about all these Korean and Malaysian cars is that you get a sense they were designed not by one man who wanted to make a great car, but by a corporation that simply wanted to make money. Well, I didn't say that. Jeremy Clarkson did. Guys, that was probably more than a decade ago. Perdua has come a long way from being criticised as being unreliable to selling stylish and practical cars to all Malaysians. Since launching their first car, Perdua Kanchil, the successor of the Perdua Axia, they have never stopped to impress us with their lineup. There's a reason why the Perdua Myvi is being crowned as the king of the Malaysia road. It is because of its driving performance. It can overtake almost any cars on the road. Well, if you put your mind into it. I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. With all the success that Perdua has garnered over the years, Question is, why Perdua is still not making or selling electric cars? Hello everyone, welcome to the Cool Car Guys. If you like this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. I believe with all the budget they have in mind, they can easily put together an R&D team and start working on a prototype. Here I have gathered 3 reasons on why Perdua is not planning or selling electric cars in the near future. High ICE Vehicle Sales Volume Why take the risk? For 15 consecutive years, Perdua is leading the market as the best-selling car brand. Despite COVID-19, Perdua still managed to sell 220,163 units of vehicle in 2020. Topping the chart of best-selling cars are, while well, you guessed it, the Myvi, Beza, and Axia. The president and CEO, Datuk Zainal Abidin Ahmad, once ruled out any form of fully electric vehicles in the near future saying the company doesn't see EV as a good fit for the local market. However, he did not deny that the company plans to launch a hybrid vehicle. Fast forward to 2021, Perdua launched their first turbo engine car, the Perdua Activa, while many other car makers have already jumped ahead into making electric vehicles. While what we can see here is the company is being very careful about each and every plan, with profitability as the priority, it is indeed very risky to tap into an uncharted territory. With the success of turbo cars in Malaysia, Perdua made the right move to follow suit. In the bigger picture, we know that electrification is inevitable. But Perdua just had to find the right time to enter the market. Daihatsu, Toyota-owned subsidiary, do not have an EV. Perdua has been rebadging Daihatsu model for many years. And this perfect recipe has helped Perdua excel in selling cars not just in Malaysia but other Southeast Asia countries. Since 2016, Daihatsu is wholly owned by Toyota, and Daihatsu will take charge of developing A segment cars for both brands based on the mini vehicle technology they have mastered. With the rumors going around that Daihatsu is developing a hybrid or fully electric Daihatsu Rocky, which is the Ativa, it seems like there is hope. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. However, there are no new sins. From what we can see here, neither Perdua or Daihatsu are keen to pursue developing electric vehicles at the moment. Well, two reasons. Perdua has been selling fuel efficient cars and having to replace their already well made engine is not going to bring them any benefits. Which comes to my second point to develop an electric powertrain is going to cost them a bomb. This will increase the selling price of their vehicle. Until Toyota has done it, and properly tested the market, they are going to stay put and do what they do best at the moment. Toyota soon to launch BZ4X. Will Perdua rebatch it? It seems like the dream of having an electrified Perdua is never gonna happen. But hold off your thoughts. What? 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 Hold up, oh, hold up. Because Toyota is about to launch their first electric vehicle, the BZ4X. The Seat Compact SUV debuted in April this year at Auto Shanghai. The name BZ stands for Beyond Zero, which believe will be the new sub-brand for Toyota in developing battery-powered electric vehicle. From the teaser photos, the BZ4X looks very similar like the existing Toyota RAV4. It looks robust with a blend of Lexus design element into it. What we know is Toyota is going to ride on the popularity of SUV and offer all-wheel drive as standard. What we don't know are the powertrain, whether will it come with a dual motor, 
the battery capacity and the range. I guess we will only find out closer to the launching date. If Perodua is going to release their first EV, I highly believe that that will be a rebadge of BZ4X. With their prior collaboration, I believe it will come with a different front fascia and rear, so it will look totally distinctive. Until we see the Malaysia government fulfill their promise to offer tax incentives on electric vehicles, I don't think any car makers will fulfill their EV dreams in the next 5 years. For now, the market is still having doubts with electrified vehicles, whether are they reliable and sustainable. Having lack of infrastructure in Malaysia contribute one of the reasons. For many years, Perodua excelled in selling fuel-efficient ICE vehicles. This has become their winning strategy. And for those who really really want to have an electrified MyV, here's a video with EV engine sound dubbed on the Perodua MyV for your pleasure. <laughs> if you like more content about electric car news, show me a little support by subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to share with your cool car friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Bye!